Hey everyone, it's Alex Babs12345, and I am just a little all over the place. I'm very excited <laughs> um, to finally be able to open up one of the new Rainbow High dolls by MGA. In my opinion, these are probably the best Playline fashion dolls in years. Like, I mean, look, first of all, there's two outfits. Second of all, look at the outfits. I mean, like, OMG already raised the bar a lot last year. Like, we really thought there's no way that that could ever be topped in today's Playline dolls. But these, I mean, they just have so much stuff. There's so much to them. So, needless to say, I'm very eager to open any of them up and just see what they're all about. Um, but of course, the brand is Rainbow High, so the first series has six core dolls, each representing a different color of the rainbow. Who we're going to look at first is Ruby Anderson, and she is clearly representing the color red. So first, let's look at the box, and I mean, the box is like really nice. The first thing you may notice in today's uh, doll world is that you can actually see everything. <laughs> It's honestly, like, window boxes have kind of become a little taboo, so that's exciting. And, I mean, the box itself is gorgeous. It looks very collector, very displayable. Um, so, of course, on one side we have our doll, and on top it says Collect the Rainbow. Let me see her name, Ruby Anderson, Rainbow High, and that nice metallic logo on the cellophane. And you'll see it's, like, rounded on the corner, and we get the artwork of all the girls. And then next to that, in almost like, like a storefront boutique style presentation, we get her second outfit. And moving to the back, it's just this gorgeous, like large view of all their artwork together in a group. Um, of course, Rainbow High, which is in metallic gold, again, like really luxe. I think that's the perfect word for these dolls, is luxe. Um, but yeah, just the group picture, Ruby, Poppy, Sunny, Jade, Skylar, and Violet. And then we get their little story, which is so cute, and it says, Legend says at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. But the truth is, it's something even more amazing. Only a chosen few with an eye for bold fashions can follow the rainbow to Rainbow High, the colorful fashion school where everyone learns to flaunt their true colors. So, very curious about that. Um, apparently there is a web show, which I'm looking forward to seeing. So here is Ruby out of the box with all of her things. Um, I did keep her second outfit in the little boutique windows for the moment, but I'm going to take them out. Uh, I just really love the way it looks, and I'm going to try and preserve those if I can. But yeah, of course we get the doll fully dressed in an outfit that has so many pieces to it. These are all separates, mind you. And she is on the stand, which comes with her. Hers is, of course, red and glittery. And then her second outfit is also multiple pieces, all separates, with even a jacket and a second pair of shoes. And then she even has a hanger, not just for the top, but also for the bottom, with um, clips on it which is just really cool, and that's going to work with the fashion studio that's coming out. And then she also has a comb. So here's a close-up look at Ruby, and honestly, these dolls are beautiful. They're really, like, I don't know, artfully done. But yeah, I mean, the general look of the face is definitely influenced by the larger Rainbow Surprise dolls from last year. But they, these actually have the inset eyes that uh, most other Poopsy products like the Sparkly Critters and the Cutie Tooties have, which are just gorgeous. I mean, MGA, with like maybe a couple exceptions, has always been really good at doing inset eyes. Um, like if you go back and look at Bratzillas and Novi Stars and Moxie Teens, they're really good at it. Um, so it's great to see that back. And of course, Ruby has these big, beautiful purple eyes with some like pink and yellow toned highlights and just lots of little sparkles in there. It looks gorgeous. And then that also means that she has inset lashes, which are very nice, very luxurious. Um, and then the makeup is actually really detailed as well. Um, her eyeshadow has a lot of like oranges and browns and gold glitter right on the lid. And then under her eye, there is just some pink. And then on the lips, she has just a frosty, light pink color. And you'll notice that they actually do paint um, highlights 
directly onto the lip, which again just makes it feel a little more like an art doll. And same with the brows, they actually put little um, hair stroke details in, put it in a lighter color. And then something fun that they all have, which I'm sure you can see when I turn her, is highlighter all over the face. And then onto her hair, of course she's got super bright red hair. Um, hers is actually a really nice blend. There are some darker tones and also some pink tones in there. And obviously it's in just about like an off-center part. As you can see, I did take her hat off. And the hair is really long and really nice. Like, so with her curls, which I've only like loosely played with with my fingers, already it's past the knees. But if you wanted to stretch it to its full length, like if you wanted to flat iron it, say, or anything, um, it actually goes just about down to her ankles. So, it's a lot of hair. And it is the same really nice, uh, easy to work with, smooth, silky, glowy, beautiful nylon that the OMG dolls have, which is great. So now let's look at Ruby's first outfit, the one she comes wearing. Starting on top, she has a fun little trucker hat, kind of dad cap trucker hat. Um, and this does actually plug into her head, so there's a hole in her scalp. It's not too noticeable though. But um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Let me know what you think about that. But it's a black cap with a flame motif meant to look like a patch, kind of like a, a Von Dutch trucker hat. It says rainbow. And it's got a red bill, and then a red strap with a gold buckle. Of course, it's all um, sculpted, so, I mean, you can see it's a plastic hat. And she actually can wear it forward-facing as well. You literally just... I mean, you could put it on forward if you wanted to avoid hair issues. But it does just twist around like that. And going down, on her top, she has two tops on. She layered up, super cute. Um, on the bottom, she has just a nice plain white t-shirt with the Sparkle logo, obviously inspired by Supreme. Um, these dolls are very hype beasty. <laughs> like, they're really dripped up in all the streetwear brands, which is super cute. Um, but then over that, she has this red vinyl top with black stitch detailing and you can see there's a lot of it and then little gold buckles on each strap and I mean you can definitely see it already this is I mean it's always gonna be a thing with like bustier type tops like this uh, one cup is usually gonna be bigger than the other um, I didn't really have a choice <laughs> to pick a better uh, stitched one but it just comes with the territory so keep an eye out for that if you have options in the store, uh, try to pick one with the more even stitching. Then on the bottom, she has these cute red skinny jeans with a gold like uh, foil screen printing effect that looks kind of like paint. Yeah, and you can see there is a stitch pocket and even real belt loops. And then over the jeans, she has this cute red and black fan over the jeans, she has this cute red and black flannel uh, tied around her waist. It's not a full shirt, but it is a separate piece that you can layer up um, with her other pieces. So yeah, really, they, they gave options with these dolls. And then moving down to the shoes, she has these super cute chunky platform strappy heels. They got clear straps and uh, the platform is black with some red bottoms. I mean, I don't know if Louboutin makes shoes like this. Maybe, I don't know, but she's definitely got the red bottom effect going. So here is Ruby in the second outfit she comes with, which I think is my favorite of the two. Um, she's definitely got a really cool, eclectic, sorta of sporty vibe, but still like feminine and fun. And yeah, I think she's a really fun character. But yeah, her second outfit is a little insane detail-wise, which I'll get into. First, the top is this cute little tube top. It has kind of like a Tommy Hilfiger retro kind of vibe to it. Um, the base is like a white mesh. And then over that, there is a red panel 
and then black trim with a faux zipper in the middle and it's really nice it fits really well like it's nice and tight it's perfect and then for bottoms she has this really cute red vinyl skirt which is actually the same exact material as her little red top from the first outfit so that's already like a perfect easy no-brainer combination super cute um, but what impresses me the most about this skirt is that it has real pockets these are real pockets that she can put her hand into and I mean like wow we we have not seen stuff like that since like peak Bratz era and then of course she's got real belt loops as well and this really cute off-white inspired clear belt that says rainbow on it and this is a separate piece and don't worry about having to undo the belt it does velcro in the back to come off and over all of this I'm gonna take her off the stand to show because it's pretty amazing she has this amazing oversized like sporty jacket I mean the stitching the details on this is incredible so the base is kind of like this windbreaker material in black and then it has these red panels and across the front it says rainbow but what's so cool about this is that it's actually a layer of red netting over another layer of red fabric to give it that like cool texture next level details there already and then there's also just more paneling on the sides and some white ribbon on the sleeves and even like at the waist there's like these little pull strings which it's just so like realistic and really cool and you definitely do not see that in dolls much at all uh, and there is a bow zipper and then what's also quite cool is on the back there is this rainbow high sort of insignia um, really cool it's actually really hard to get details on the back of doll clothes production wise because I mean it seems like an unnecessary cost you can't see it on in the box um, so the fact that they did that on the second outfit for under $30 is insane to me. And looking at her second pair of shoes, I'm obsessed with these. They're these really cool black ankle boots. You can see they're really tight. Uh, well, meant to look tight, obviously they're sculpted. Um, and they've got flames on them, which every layer is painted. And even the little gold zippers painted. And I just love the shape of these. I think they're really hot, really sleek. That nice, really slim heel super cute uh, real quick here's just a look at some of the display potential if you do take the little boutique display storefront looking pieces out of the box they can be reused um, obviously I didn't really set it up proper here but you can use them as a display piece which is great and then also just a look at her holding her hangers with some of her other pieces on it I know everyone has been very curious about these ladies' bodies and how they pose because they do actually have a lot of joints. Uh, so here's just a look at the body. The head actually really doesn't swivel. It pretty much only turns side to side. I do hope in the future they work on the neck peg and make that possible. Um, but the shoulders, let's just take her off the stand. But the shoulders, of course, go all the way out, up and around, and the elbow goes pretty much to like a 90 degree angle and can rotate. Wrists, I mean, they move all around, and the hands do pop off for easy dressing. Now, the interesting part of the body is the legs, because they clearly took some inspiration from like BJD bodies, they have all these joints. Um, I will say, I really don't know what the function of this one is doesn't really seem to add anything um, but it is interesting I don't know maybe I might be missing something um, but the legs do rotate and then the knees have a double joint but they only bend about that much so in my opinion I think they could actually just have a normal uh, pivotal knee standard doll articulation body and it would be just as posable. They can do some cool stuff but I did expect these legs to bend a little more, won't lie, but I mean I'm not really an articulation nut anyways so it's really not a loss for me. She poses like all my other favorite dolls. Here's a peek at the rainbow high body next to some other popular doll body types. 
Um, they're actually much larger than they appear, at least to me. Uh, I was definitely expecting pretty much the same exact size as an OMG, but they're actually a fair bit larger. Um, you might be able to share some clothing pieces, but it's not going to be perfect. Same with brats. I mean, you can, you can see how much bigger they are than the brats. Um, the actual body type that they're closest to is Barbie. Um, not everything works, but I've played a bit and most bottoms actually are interchangeable so if you want clothes for Barbie, Rainbow High could be good and if you want more clothes for Rainbow, maybe some older Barbie clothes would be fun to play with. Um, I'm feeling like they might also fit Moxie Girls, maybe some pieces, stretchier ones, uh, but not positive. I did play a little bit with shoes and Bradzilla's shoes actually do fit Rainbow High pretty well, uh, interestingly enough. So that is Ruby Anderson from Series 1 of the new Rainbow High Dolls by MGA. I'm so excited, um, yeah, I literally cannot express my love for these dolls enough. I think they're exactly what's been needed, just straightforward, well executed, beautiful, detailed fashion dolls. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get them all. And I'm super excited to see where this brand goes. Uh, hopefully you are too. Let me know what you think. If you can comment, if not, let me know on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.